Computers and specialized software have become an essential part of the biologist's toolkit, either for routine DNA or protein sequence analysis or to parse meaningful information in massive, gigabyte-sized biological data sets. Virtually all modern research projects in biology require, to some extent, the use of computers. In the early 1950s, not much was known about deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. Its status as the carrier molecule of genetic information was still controversial at that time. Avery, McLeod and McCarty 1944, showed that the uptake of pure DNA from a virulent bacterial strain could confer virulence to a nonvirulent strain, but their results were not immediately accepted by the scientific community. Many thought that proteins were the carriers of genetic information. The role of DNA as a genetic information encoding molecule was validated in 1952 by Hershey and Chase when they proved beyond reasonable doubt that it was DNA, not protein that was uptaken and transmitted by bacterial cells infected by a bacteriophage. Dayhoff. The first. Bioinformatician Margaret Dayhoff, 1925-1983, was an American physical chemist who pioneered the application of computational methods to the field of biochemistry. Dayhoff's contribution to this field is so important that David J. Lipman, former director of the National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI, called her the mother and father of bioinformatics, 15. Dayhoff had extensively used computational methods for her Ph.D. thesis in electrochemistry, 16, and saw the potential of computers in the fields of biology and medicine. In 1960, she became associate director of the National Biomedical Resource Foundation. There, she began to work with Robert S. Ledley, a physicist who also sought to bring computational resources to biomedical problems. From 1958 to 1962, both combined their expertise and developed COMPROTEIN, a complete computer program for the IBM 7090 designed to determine protein primary structure using Edmund peptide sequencing data, 19. This software, entirely coded in Fortran on punch cards, is the first occurrence of what we would call today a de novo sequence assembler. In the COMPROTEIN software, Input and output amino acid sequences were represented in three letter abbreviations, e.g., Li for lysine, ESER for serine. In an effort to simplify the handling of protein sequence data, Dayhoff later developed the one letter amino acid code that is still in use today. This one letter code was first used in Dayhoff and X 1965 Atlas of Protein Sequence and Structure, the first ever biological sequence database. The first edition of the Atlas contained 65 protein sequences, most of which were interspecific variants of a handful of proteins.
For this reason, the first atlas happened to be an ideal data set for two researchers who hypothesized that protein sequences reflect the evolutionary history of species.